Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a certificate template that you can use with all of your remote desktop connections. Let's get started. So starting on my certificate server, we're going to load up the certificate authority. The first thing that we're going to do is um, go into our certificate templates and we're going to create a new template. So we're going to find the computer template and we're going to duplicate this template. And we're going to call this one uh, Remote Desktop um, cert. I'm going to leave um, uh, basically everything the same except for extensions. We're now going to go into extensions and we're going to add an extension. We're going to go new extension and we're going to go remote desktop. This is where we uh, type in the uh, OID for a remote desktop, which I'm just going to copy and paste from another screen into here. Now, when I click OK on this, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to end up with an error. And the reason I ha will end up with an error is I've actually already imported this object identifier. But I want to show you what the process is anyways. So when I click OK, here we get our error. Let me go OK, and I'm going to just cancel out that. And if you go down to the bottom, there's one here that's called RDP. So I select that instead. I then take the client authentication, I remove it, and the server authentication, and I remove it, and I go OK. And the one thing I didn't show you is here where it says template name, one of the tips is copy this and paste it into Notepad. You'll want that for when you create your um, your uh, uh, GPO later on. So, you know, copy and paste it and uh, you're done with it. So I'm going to go OK with this thing. Now, at this point in time, uh, you got to have a replication happen in your environment. Um, I'm going to quickly see if I can force this and go off to my uh, domain controller and force the replication down and force the replication now. And if I've done everything right and I stall just enough time, uh, we can issue this uh, certificate. So let's go and issue a certificate. And with any luck, there's our remote desktop certificate and we go OK. So from this point forward, we can now turn around and create our GPO. I'll do that in another video. As you can see, creating the certificate template wasn't all that hard. You'll also notice that I like to break up the videos into small chunks, making it easier for you to um, deal with the, the items in a chunk. Because um, creating the template is one thing, and then the GPO is another one. And it gives you the opportunity to um, take them as your time uh, progresses on that. At the end of the day, I really love you to subscribe to the newsletter on Ask Garth and subscribe to the YouTube channel. This way you can be informed about what the latest uh, topics that we're doing. You'll notice that the topics are always around Configuration Manager and uh, Intune, uh, mostly with a focus towards uh, inventory and reporting, but also on things like setting up your um, 
certificate server so that you can uh, do things such as the remote desktop or ultimately we're going to get into doing the certificate for uh, configuration manager itself i hope you guys are having a great time and we'll talk to you in the next video